What's going on everyone? I'm back with another video. Now this video is not going to be like the other ones that I've been uploading recently. It's not going to be long. It's not going to be in depth. It's going to be more relaxed, more chill. I didn't really even build this channel to upload long in-depth 2K videos. Although I still might upload some here and there if there's a topic that I feel particularly passionate about. For now, I'm going to start uploading things that are a little more enjoyable to watch. I want to be more of an entertainer than a, a tryhard 2K player. I'm not a sweat. I've never been a sweat. I think I'm decent at the game, and I think if I do try, it could be even better. But that's not why I'm here. I'm here to have fun. And so are the people I play with. I think that's how you should be playing video games. Everyone is so uptight and so stressed while they're playing games now. They lose, and they want to kill the people on their team. Like, relax. It's just a game. Unless you're trying to be a comp pro-am player or join the 2K League, like, there's no need to stress out that much over a My Park game, or even worse, a theater game. When I see people lose theater games and they're snapping on their teammates, especially the randoms, like, what are you doing? Just relax, enjoy yourself. You joined randoms 3v3. What were you expecting? So yeah, it's gonna be shorter videos from now on. This video, I'm playing some park with my two friends. Also, I'm gonna start trying to do some live commentaries, not always voiceovers. Still gonna do some voiceovers here and there, but I like the live comms. I just haven't been doing them right now because the people I'm playing with at the moment, they don't have a Discord account. So I can't record their voice on OBS. And I don't wanna record them through the Xbox party because it takes a lot of work and I don't wanna do it. It's also not as, not as nice quality, man. But leave a like if you want them to make a Discord. Then I can get those live comms going. You're gonna be able to hear our conversations. It's pretty funny sometimes. I honestly think it's really enjoyable. But for now, you're stuck with me and my damn voiceover commentaries. But let's just pause for one second and look at what happens here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bro. I I wish I could just take that off, because I'm doing it by accident. I don't know how I'm doing it, but like I'm doing it by accident. That's not the first time it's fucked us up. Yeah, so that was tragic. But this one's a good one. I'm using the meter. I've been using the meter for the past few days. Uh, It's been pretty good. I've been shooting pretty consistently around 50%. Some days I'm a little lower, around 45, 47%. Some days I'm higher though. Some days I'm shooting 55% with the meter. But it's been pretty, it's been pretty fun to use the meter. And I honestly think that it's pretty viable ever since the shooting buff at the end of season two. If you didn't know, supposedly the shooting buff at the end of season two made it so that 20% boost for using no meter is more like 3% now. Now, I don't know how accurate that is, but both 2K Labs and 2K Toots both confirmed this. Mike Wang said it's not true, but come on. Do we really believe everything that Mike Wang tells us to believe? We do not. And anyways, look at the shot that I hit here. Would I be able to do this if the meter was trashed? No, I would not. So try the meter. If you're struggling to shoot, you might like it. Now, I, I'm kind of switching back and forth. I do like no meter, but I haven't found a jump shot that I, I'm really comfortable with. And I haven't found a jump shot I like the release point on. So I'm, I'm gonna stick with no meter for now. But if, if I find a jump shot I like and I switch back to no meter, I'll let you guys know. I'll post a jump shot. I'll give you guys the sauce. Honestly, I'm posting this so that you guys can see my meter, but at the same time, you guys get to see this new player that I'm using. I honestly think this is my favorite player I have on this game. And I think I have like seven or eight players now. It's ridiculous. I don't think I've ever spent this much money on any 2K game, but there's something about making players for me and playing with the builder system that is just like so addicting. It's like a drug, it's bad. My wallet is empty but you're also gonna get to see my boys just tearing it up they're they're pretty nasty and they always are you're gonna see my one friend over here with the pants and the t-shirt he plays like kobe look he's iced out he's got the game in his hands now that was an ai but still you're gonna see he's got that that kobe touch to him he wants the ball in those stressful situations. He wants the game point in his hands. This guy pulls that. I don't know who he thinks he is, but we grab that board. We're out. Pretty easy little layup. 
This guy comes and hits a little fade on me. You know what? I gotta respect it. He's got the Bulls logo too for his green animation. Gotta love that Michael Jordan. The next possession, off inbound. I get the ball. Come over here with that De'Aaron Fox cross. Run to the basket. Just hit him with the stand dunk cheese. Even though I'm 6'5", the stand dunks are just so good. Then Barber swings me this beautiful little pass. And I... Brick, unfortunately. But I get the second chance, and you know, you know this one's catch. In the corner, I can't miss that. Meter, no meter, blindfolded, TV off. It's gotta drop. Here, I thought I thought I was Kobe pulling that shot. I didn't think he was gonna get a 12% contest, but but he did. It's all good though, because you're gonna see this Michael Jordan clamp defense get the steal. He dies for it. I hit him with that Patrick Star. Get the ball back. They foul. Then I swing the ball to Barhu. He gets the post, doing that little Dirk Nowitzki, knee up, fade away. Oh, this one's my favorite. Get that ball, hit him with a cross, spin, between the legs, step back, from half court, pull up, green. With the meter, no takeover. And Bar was like, you know, I gotta get revenge. Hits him with that post hop shot, green light. We get that back, easy pass. Bar hit him with that between the legs, absolutely nasty, the seven footer putting up dunks like that then someone forgets to guard their man and they get free three points i don't know who that was but i said you know what it's fine i give up three points it's time to ice the game behind half court meter it doesn't matter it's green light in the back of the net next game Honestly, I'm tossing this game in here, not even for me. I don't even think I shoot this much this game. But my my boy Marcus here, he just he just takes over the game. Honestly, Barhu does too. Marcus scores like crazy, and Barhu just plays like an absolute beast on the inside, which he always does. And I come here, him with this weird behind the back, come out the three-point line, run back in, brick the layup, because I'm ass. Barhu grabs a board, because he's a beast, goes up, grabs another board, green light. Told you he's a beast then i hit bar with that little bounce pass to the inside i thought that was gonna get stolen he swings it to marcus he runs inside for that fade with the six nine player i honestly thought that was gonna be contested but it's wide open it's hard to contest that six nine player honestly i don't see a lot of people playing on a six nine player doing what what marcus does it's 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 quite nice to see and he's a casual player he does not play all the time and he's still cooking people then then just just watch this i do the damn alley-oop thing again and we lose the ball. And this plays the best. Marcus gets that block, grabs the ball, runs the floor on his own, because why not? Hits him with that Kobe fade. And I say Kobe fade because Marcus, he plays like Kobe. Games on the line, he wants the ball in his hands. Someone in his face, other teams cooking on offense, he wants to cook him right back. He's got confidence like I've never seen, and I love it. That's why he hits shots like that. Ah, okay, I was just gassing you up. And then that comes up. What are the odds? That is just bad timing. Honestly, usually hits that shot. Uh, you know what? I'm going to put a short compilation on screen of Marcus hitting three-point fades because I just did him dirty with that last clip. And I feel bad. <laughs> That's no takeover too, bro. That's insane. He's got that strat. Marcus, buddy. On to the next play. Marcus comes in with another easy mid range fade with takeover. It's just free greens. And we got Barhu in here just being a beast, putting up that layup, grabs his own rebound, puts it back out to Marcus for a free three pointer. It's just too easy. Now we're up by three, and all of a sudden the game is tied. I'm not going to talk about it. It happens. But like I said, game's online. Marcus wants the ball in his hands and he's having a game. So why would I not let him take it? And he gets the free easy dunk on the 6'9". Now that's going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed. A bit of a different one from what I've usually been doing, but I enjoyed making this video. If you guys like the meter and you like what you were seeing in the video, try it out. Let me know if you end up trying out the meter. Let me know if you like it. Let me know if it fixed your shooting percentage because when I started using the meter, I started shooting... I think more consistently than I was shooting without the meter, but that just could be because I didn't find a good jump shot.
for no meter, but I'm gonna work on it. Until then, it's been Reno, and I'll see you all in the next video.